Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In this one, we'll be talking about Wild Shape and how to pull it off. And I've built two modes for it, one for combat and one with not. So let's go ahead and take a look at the base uh, Wild Shape. Hey, okay, so uh, here we have our standard Druid. Let's go ahead and open them up. Uh, within here, you can see he's got the wild shape feet, uh, but does not have a uh, combat wild shape. But we'll get to that later. So let's go ahead and activate this. And then in here, it's going to ask us to pick a beast. Now, each of the beasts here are listed within our wild shape folder over here. I try to keep things simplistic as possible for you guys. So then you can just uh, go into your SRD folder or whatever. Just uh, import, drag, drop, done. So let's go ahead and choose the ape. Now in here, you can see that it's already created a wild shape revert. And so if your player wants to, uh, you know, change back, all they need to do is you can either just drag that to their hotbar or whatever, and, you know, they can just hit that. And then from there, they can go ahead and change back. Now here, you can see that we've added the combat wild shape. Uh, so within the macro, it'll actually detect and see if this feature exists on your uh, druid. So if it does, then when you uh, use wild shape, now this time you can see that it created two items, the revert as well as the wild shape healing. Now, let's say if, uh, you know, um, your druid, whatever is injured, uh, you can just go ahead and cast that. It'll ask you for the spell slots. And then uh, you can just go through. And they go ahead and use the converted spell slots. Now, what this macro does also is it will actually grab uh, said spell slots from your player and up convert it. Uh, so it's, it's pretty easy for that. And then as you can see in the features, it will grab whatever was currently on the druid and then add it in and along with the revert. So everything in here should be included pretty well. So yeah, I'm planning on writing a module probably towards uh, February and what I plan to add along with it is the ability to include in uh, if your druid while wild shaped takes a excess damage, it will automatically terminate the active effect, or, or rather revert them back, and then carry over uh, the additional damage. A lot of these things are already present in MIDI, so it shouldn't be hard uh, to monitor that. Gra grab the thing, do you know greater than, and then apply that additional damage. Since we can do it directly to the uh, to the actor itself, we wouldn't need to wait for anything. We just uh, apply it to the base actor, and that's just going to be one of many features uh, within it. I'm currently already uh, testing out some advantage features uh, that will uh, be able to detectable by particular features. So yeah, um, it'll probably be posted first for, for Patreon, and then later on, once it uh, reaches a good state, then maybe I'll uh, post it public. Thank you so much for watching my video on Druid Wild Shape. This macro is available on my Patreon as always. Link is in the description below. Please make sure to share this video with your fellow dr GMs who may also have druids. It certainly could speed up their game. I want to give a special thanks uh, to my patrons who support me. You guys mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.